so as stated before, squad four, a Hello, everybody. Yeah. Welcome to Squad Ops on this awesome Saturday. Hope everyone's having as good a morning as I am. Nice, lazy, sleeping in. This is Operation Mistwalker. And we are a little bit behind schedule here. Well, excuse me, we were a little bit late getting in, so they're already in the briefing. Um, try to listen in on that real quick, and then we'll introduce the rest of the op after we uh, get in on this. The rest of us from live, we're going to be sprinting over to this bridge. So from there, we're going to have squads one, two, and three trying to maneuver our infantry column to get to Golf 8. Now, how we get there is going to be a route of approach. So time is of the essence, and battle spacing is non essential until we cross. But once we do cross, 3 is going to be delaying by holding a defensible location with fire support, checking eyes to the west from this mark. While 1 and 2 bound up to the new mortar mark. Now the avenue of approach for the whole infantry column is to continue this way until we get to our attack objective number two, which is to hold golf eight with squads one, two, and three. So when one and two start pushing northbound without any contact, three is going to pull out of their position and then reinforce the infantry group up there in the north. So as of this current time, we have ones, two, and three in golf eight, and we're going to kick off to phase two, which is the assault phase. We're going to keep this fairly doctrinal, so 4 is going to be given the green light to go weapons free and provide support by fire. 2 is down there, or 4 is down there. Support by fire to disrupt and destroy enemy positions. 1 is going to be the tip of the spear for this charge, um, because 1 has the most concealment, so 2 and 3 are going to be methodically assaulting the clear enemy forces. So marking 1's position right here, 2's position right here. In three's position right here. And they're going to continue that advance to the southeast in a slow, methodical fashion until we take over the fortification. Now, are there any questions? Yes. On the approach north to the bridge for one, two, and three, we can be exposed to being hit on the flank. Are we going to try to hide in the woods or anything or what? Negative. So phase one is going to be about maneuvering, and we're going to try to expedite this as fast as we can. So right off the gate, we are going to be able to reach that fa or that bridge located on this mark without Russian ever being exposed to it. Their enemy position, if they were sprinting toward the same location, is on the red fob mark. We will be able to get at least squads one and three across onto this location. While one is pushing northbound, three is looking to the west. Two is the only one that may actually receive some fire, whereas three is watching to protect them. That's where, when you're on the west side of that bridge, battle spacing is important. On the east side, we're just sprinting. So there's no need for battle spacing. Timing is of the essence to get to here and then push westbound. Any other questions? Yeah, uh, can we go under the bridge or we have to go on top? Uh, cold water is in effect for this mission, so we do have to cross br using bridges. We cannot go into the water. It's on top of the bridge. All right, so through completing our attack objectives of inserting squad four detachment to Hotel 10, keep at eight without being detected, exit maneuver of our infantry column to Golf 8, and then assault. All righty, so we got to listen in to the militia briefing there. Uh, so if you haven't figured it out, this is not Karma. This is Tedish. Karma. Got a nasty uh, cold, and he's having problems talking, so we figured uh, maybe casting wouldn't be the best plan for him. Uh, but this is Operation Mistwalker, Squad Ops, One Life event. Squad Good time. Uh, let's see. Basic overview of the operation is a nice attack and defend. Uh, no, let's just, get the map up here. I'm going we overheard it there. The militia start at their main. The Russians start over at their main. And the objective is uh, this little peninsula right here with the green... Bob marker in it here. Um, infantry cannot cross any of the rivers, so it's a map about bridge control. There's a bridge to the north, there's a pair of bridges down to the south. Um, but both teams have about equidistant running between them. So yeah, it, it becomes maneuvering. It's only infantry, uh, no vehicles, not a lot of explosives going on. Uh, so 
we'll see what's going on. We could bring up uh, the asset overlay here. Although it's pretty, pretty basic in the upper operation overlay. Um, it sounds like the militia are going to head north across the bridge, concede the point to the Russians, and then attack the Russians once they're in there because it is not a, a very easily defended area. No, Jack Beatty, I do not have a YouTube channel. I just just take over others. I figure it's easier that way, right? So this is the compound that they're defending. Or whoever gets here first defends it. Oh, we're bringing over the, uh, the operation overlay. Pretty basic. Just attack and defend. Whoever gets here first defends it. The other team attacks it. They're, they put down a fob, and then they can build basic defenses with the few amount of points they get. Uh, I think it's, what, 200 points? So they can uh, get down one machine gun or a couple sandbags, and that's it. And then the extra infantry sandbags. So, yeah, this is the, uh, the building in question. It tends to be kind of a grenade trap. You get people in there, uh, you can just throw grenades over, and they're taking people out left, right, and center. The pillboxes are decent. It's got okay lines of sight, but it has a lot of trees off the, a lot of the sides. Another building over there. So we'll see what happens. Had some interesting um, setups before where we had, I believe it was Russia occupied the main building and then the militia occupied the small building up to its uh, north and they both thought that they were on defense. So there was this kind of weird, I don't even know what standoff to call that, but uh, it was entertaining to watch. But uh, it looks, sounds like we're about to go live here. We're watching from the militia point of view, so they'll be blue. And there we go, we're live. Russians are going to be red. Where are they moving out? Quack, this is bad. That's the way you think. Let's see, so yeah, it looks like the militia Quack, are heading the all their guys to the yeah, north. What? With one fire team to the south to provide some support. Now, again, you can't cross this river. Uh, in the normal squad game, you can, but we're setting up a restriction where infantry cannot cross this river. It's too cold is uh, is what we're playing that as. So got to go around, got to use the bridges. All right, let's go figure out where the Russians are going here. If they actually for trust There's the all the Russians. do we shoot at them or do we just let them pass? You're going to be letting them pass. Try to eager us out to your southwest. Got a couple different cameras here for everyone to look through. Got our man Penn behind the seeds. scenes. Scenes, uh, his semi-patented PBS broadcasting system. Okay, it's not patented at all. I just made that up. It's going to be a thing, damn it. Can't do this without him this well. It's production quality. It's fantastic. Couldn't do it without the cameras either, but uh, Pen's the man. What can we say? All right. Looks like the Russians are moving on a nice organized mob here. No particular formation, just kind of pushing through the woods. Looks like they're all Russian for that. Ha, ha, the Russians are Russian. Did it on accident. Uh, they're Russian for that uh, pair of bridges here towards the objective. Not really another way to go. Looks like they got one squad heading off to the left. And if we heard in on the, uh, the militia briefing there, they're going to send Hi. most of their forces into the Neva upper bunker area. I think it was nice. Golf 8, Golf 7, Golf 8, and then push in from the southeast, or to the southeast, after they concede that uh, peninsula. Command, do you want four north or south? This of... fog map makes it interesting too because you can't uh, see you, quite you can as position far. position yourself north. Just pick a good 
uh, cover Makes spot. Makes for good tense infantry exchanges. Roger that. Almost see everybody here. There's a few It'll guys that are glitched out. Want to go across the bridge for? Here's a satellite predator view here. Extreme thermal imaging, something like that. So this area, kind of on the bottom right of my screen, is the uh, the fortress everyone's going to be fighting over. And we got the main train bridges here. If everyone's familiar with the Gorodok map, looks like militia are crossing the first bridge. Me going across for shows Burns is in so front, leading the charge. Until, uh, Not that scary uh, because they know that the Russians contact, can't so just be there keep at this point. There wasn't any time for them to move up. And the militia didn't waste any time, so they're moving in. Died in three minutes was pretty good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. Right, guys, the the Second group coming across, server error in the lead. Looks like the Russians are getting overview of that southern bridge section. Once you get set and you're good cover, go ahead and have your ARs. Expert checking put it out. Shots on that. Uh, both that, both uh, teams just looking at that saw. crossing. The Russians are hoping that the <laughs> militia are going to cross the train bridge and the lower footbridge. I guess it's got a vehicle bridge, too. Nacho's calling them out. Just keep eyes out, keep low, keep quiet for now, guys. So Nacho had eyes on the Russians on the west side. He's got to be in that five-man fire team, south side of the screen. Still on their side of the river, and there goes the whole militia team so to the north. Scanning out to the west while you're pushing up to us. No one's pushing it. Looks like both teams are waiting. Both teams want the other team to move in so that they can attack and force the other team to defend. Yeah, Jim, that bridge is a bottleneck. It's also a death trap on this map because both teams get there. Good luck crossing it. Oh, here we go. First shot's coming out. See those tracers whizzing across? So one of the nice restrictions we have in the, all of our game modes at this point is we do not allow infantry to have magnifying optics. So these long-range engagements are more prolonged um, generally, you don't have as many kills right off the bat. Suppression, suppression, and movement. Yeah, not quite a stalemate here, Maverick. It's going to be a flanking maneuver. We got this force over here distracting the Russians a little bit. Meanwhile, the entire militia platoon heading up to the north, a wide flank. We're going to be starting advanced westbound. Start slowing it down just a little bit. We'll get two and three on them. Roger that. We're going to get to the road, and then we're going to our station. Man, do you want one to start trying to push up? Yeah, it doesn't look like they're going to cross train. Um, start pushing up. Watch your north, northeast. Top of that, come on. This is interesting. It's a much slower pace than usual. All right, so we're beginning the phase where we're going to start crossing. Four is going to go first, then four three, real then contact. us. I guess we've had some light contact so, so far. Uh, we're just going to keep bounding it over by fire teams. Taking the eyes through Neil's, the militia side. All right, just a quick up. We are taking just the center us, this is of our two squads, Swat so one will be on our G. western flank and three will be on our eastern flank, Operation and we are going Walker, directly uh, below Nivaloa. Round one. One of two for then we have a so, this morning uh, slash afternoon contact. session, right, depending on gonna, where you're looking at us from. We'll have two more on the same map this evening. In about, uh, three minutes from now. Here we go. Wow, the, here we go. The Russians are crossing the bridge. Got a fire team crossing the bridge here. They made it all the way across without getting engaged. Um, enemies, enemies across on the lower bridge. Are we? Squad four. Ooh, they're all lined up for this guy. He just can't see him through that through that tree. He's got a saw too. Oh, stay up there. Stay up. Copy that for. Too bad. Who else is over here? Just that one guy had a shot on him. 
now he retreated. Crossing the bridge now, Command. One's also moving. Yeah, one was told to move on the, uh, the oh, train bridge. Oh, the second we're the Russian squad is crossing the upper train bridge. Yeah, that is ballsy. Sure in a firing position. We're going to be using you to assault yep, yep. I guess the first yeah, squad crossed. Wow, that's interesting. It looks like they're going to push a full two squads across here. Maybe three. Copy. I'm getting overwatch. That is, that is an interesting call. Because oh, once they get over here, they can fire on the back side of the island, but you're not really close enough to do effective damage. And there's no GLs, there's no explosives. Four, pause if you can, check guys to train bridge, let me know if they cross. Copy. Uh, from here we don't see the train. And it looks like, it sounds like the Russians know the, the maneuver in westbound to get us. The militia are yeah, up they here. They already crossed the little bridge, so I don't want to go too far. Where's there the we go, these guys might... Have contact. Do you want me to move south now? Axe Gaming. Eight Check nine. us out on squadops.gg. It's our website. Four, Figure out all about it. It's a one life event. All you need is uh, uh, yeah, the game Squad, which you can pick up on Steam for 35, uh, 40 bucks. Did you sales a couple times a year? It's well worth it. Just make sure they're net, and then we just there. run one life events twice a week. Totally free. You just gotta join the community, sign up, say hi. Uh, we got enemies. We got enemies very close to us on our side of the river. Should we still? Nacho's calling them out. Pull out to your southwest. Two yeah, yeah, you got enemies one, very close yeah, to you over here. Imminent contact down here. Four versus six. Hey, exit. Wait, wait, wait. One sec. Telling them to stay safe. Inch yeah, the whole four. Russian team is pushing across the bridge here. Route for yourself to the southeast. Four, four here. Contact east of us. Close. No shots were taken, but I had visual. He ducked out. Right, that's I turned. All right, that's hotel. Hotel. I can't five. believe these guys haven't started shooting each other yet. Pincer, so three go direct and mm -hmm. one comes from at the, at the east Ladies. side. Wait here. It looks like the teams are basically Silas switching Silas sides here. The Russians are all coming over on the militia side, and all the militia are on the Russian side. One of you taking contact? No, we haven't. I'm gonna love right, to hear one, two, in the three. interview afterwards the with the commanders what was going. On. Why are the? I don't understand why the Russians are all on this side of the river. Yes, Matthias. This is Tedish. Karma's out. He's getting One sick, having a hard time talking, so commentating is going to be rough on him. He you. stepped out. East side of the river. Cop. Look at this flood of Russians. And these militia are having really good discipline falling back. And not engaging. Yeah, I'm gonna Squad leader down. here, glass in the hills. Copy that. Oh, 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 does he see him? He had to have seen that. To slow it down a little bit, you should be exposed. There's a lot more cover on one's position. Uh, watch our north overflow. Sure yes, these are US servers. The, uh, here, I have visual. We do have a the EU server. They're not moving. Which direction are they looking for? Last I saw, they were looking south for some reason, but they're just hiding in the trees, prone. Pure paradise. If you push straight north, you're gonna run calling north. out. This Russian fire team, uh, militia fire team in front of him. Saw him was H they are surrounded. Look at that. Or two seven. Poor f fire team four. In the high ground from the south. Oh, they're about to get collapsed right. on. This is going to be brutal. <laughs> this is their, the entire Russian team is collapsing on these four bastards. <laughs> Rip. One tapped. I don't know who that was. It was a great shot. <laughs> <Look at that. laughs> or, I'm sorry, sandbags. Oh, yeah. So you know, you guys aren't even hiding in bushes. For whatever reason. You're just in the grass. Well, continue advancing. Try to cut off directly to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh. It's like that scene in The Rock. The shower scene where they're. Oh, just done from above. Executed. <laughs> Brutal. Or down.
Grenades coming out for the overkill. We couldn't hear if they knew exactly where the militia were, but that was pretty textbook surrounding and just executing that uh, Hydra head right there. On the last lap. I don't know about Lone Survivor Nurse Hold. That was more like team execution going on there. All right, and now we have a full flip of all the teams. Militia are on the Russian side. Russians are on the militia side. Copy that. One, you should still have enemies on the other side of the river. Three, sit rep. Uh, we've taken this rock. There's no enemy contact. Oh, you're right. There is one still alive in there. There's one lone militia hiding in a hornet's nest right now. Good, good spot, Oxelio. I didn't see that. This, wow. He's who is this? Poke smot. He's like, don't do it. No, I don't want to die. <laughs> Have you lost anyone? Oop, 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 oop. Gets one. Oh, they all turn towards him. Here we go. <laughs> it was a good kill, Poke. That's not the time to bandage. And oh, he's throwing smoke. <laughs> well, at least he got one. At least he got one. Close to on that. A firm two. Continue crossing. We're gonna be secure in the fortification. Rip Pokemon. Continue pushing. continue pushing three. All right, just so everyone's aware, four has just went down, so they're still on the south end of you guys, across from the across river. Across from the river, they may be using an island. One, call in to me if you see anything. I've taken one casualty. What's this guy doing out here? Burns. Uh, taking a nature walk We're holding the by himself. Bridge, looking for some peace and quiet out here. All right, two, go ahead and start pushing to your southwest. Probably 400 meters from his closest ally. Across the river. Three, you're going to be in control that is command, of though. When you make it in. Yeah, I guess we didn't go over who the commands and squad leads are for this one. So on the militia side, we got Burns in command. Uh, it was Nacho for squad four, but they're all dead at this point. We got Best Pony, Kenneth. And OD tap the squad leads. And then on the Russian side, we got Shadow Ritual, CMYK Matter, Silent Death, Pure Paradise, and in command, X Bit. All experienced guys. Everyone knows what they're doing here. I'm still. Well, I'm going to love to get into uh, X Bit's head and what the heck was going on with this side switch here. Here we go. The Russians have spotted them out here on the objective. Alright, we've just swapped roles. Enemy is maybe flanking around, go counterclockwise on the other side of the river. So three, call in anything. If Moxie goes down, if they start crossing that bridge, we're going to be swapping roles here. Alright, looks like uh, militia are moving in. Going to get their fob plop down. Um, we're going to... They killed him. They killed the guy. Yeah, four got the guy. They took one casualty. Copy. We got visual engaging. Nope. Copy. Have a firefight here. We've got the visual out. engaging. And he's waiting. And not engaging right over there. There we go. Definitely up on that hill by the bridge. Yep. If you guys see anything, engage yourself with. There, don't bounce. bounce. Good suppression going down there. Tick picks up one. Puts down one. XF goes down. Great shots. Two down over there. Possibly two enemies, the two squads to yourself. I love the tracer south, fires on south. those darker maps. One. The tracer uh pull south and east. We can't fucking hold this. Alright, so now they've got to uh I guess the idea up here was the Russians are going to have suppression from above, from across the river, but it's so far away 
that I feel like that's not going to be effective, especially on this mist map where it's like even harder at long range with no magnification. Then you got this guy whose cover is uh, some some shrub, some weeds here. He's not. Oh, and he's a medic too, dude. Come on, get get some cover, buddy. This is not where you want to be when they have an elevated position. That's good. This is better. Yeah, see this rock? Yeah. You find a rock, buddy. Come on. There we go. We got the heavy heavy assets up. That's just brutal right there. I don't think it can quite see up enough, though. Dude, that looks like from the outside. Oof. Medic. Should I'll I work my way to the compound where so I can have some better cover? There's a fob, alright, it's officially attack and defend. Russians on the south side of the river. Militia on the northwest. I just gotta hold those bridges and the Russians are gonna lose. Alright, currently I expect an enemy force to come in on India 8, the bridge that we just used. As well as we probably still have two squad size elements trying to cross this train bridge. Right. Come on, be advised, we have contact to our east. Kenneth's calling them out to the east. Looks like militia have lost six, Russians have lost four. I'll find some gun engage. Get that predator view again. So the militia have a full squad covering the train bridge area. They've also got a fire team covering the north bridge, and then a squad and a half on the objective, and the nearby fortifications at the objective. This could be a long drawn out one. Who are you saying? You're saying Bravo needs to come to you? <laughs> Alpha and Bravo. All right, come on, let's go, guys. Let's run. Oh my God, this is terrifying. They look like they were they're breaking to off the bridge up there. With my, my my fire team. Got it. You can get your squad over there. Help. Stop them. I just lost a guy. The Tony calling team. out that they're crossing a bridge up here, but have control of the India Eight bridge. They're not uh, they're not anywhere near it. Command is pushing northeast. One just stay in current. I come on, the advice. Two is moving up. How are we lagging behind? We might be dead too late. They're worried about the uh, Russians crossing this bridge to the north. They got a fire team up there, and then a pair behind them, another pair behind that. But sounds like they think the whole force is about to cross. Alright, as soon as you get here, engage on site, crossing the bridge. This is a tough bridge to cross. Very easy to cover. We used to have an op. I think we trashed it. But we used to have an op where the whole op was basically crossing this bridge back when we were first designing ops. And it was, uh, while fun, not very um, fair for the side that was crossing. Because you can get. You throw. Some uh, machine guns. There's LMGs right here, side, they and they can just side. shoot all the way down that whole length of the bridge. The attacking team is, of course, going to throw a smoke to cover it, but then they can't fire back, and you just fire into the smoke, and uh, it's game over. Really hard to stop. And they got guys crawling all over this rock outcropping here. Normally we preach battle spacing, but everybody knows that uh, there's no GLs, no lats on this map. Every squad just gets two ARs and two medics. You see anything, Niles? Normally it's just one medic, but Negative. two ARs, two medics per squad. Now again, this is a one life event. So once you go down and are incapacitated, the medics are not allowed to pick you up. They can heal you if you get wounded. They can help bandage right, we, you. We a bit to, uh, to any of us here. But they we can't get, like, team over there. pick you up. If you count Alpha. Two, sit right. Uh, come on, be advised. We can help. See nothing. 
That northern fire team on the Russian moving around. They're past the road at this point. Moving up to radio tower. Maybe they're going to cap that. Get some points. Nah, points don't matter. Flags don't matter. They Just the objectives. I guess they could go all the way around. They could do the nine-year flank and use the uh, bridge up in Kilo 3. That'd be a long op. I got nothing on the hills across the train bridge. Looks like the whole Russian team is flanking around the India 8 bridge. One we're looking at here. Slowly filtering up. Yeah, Matthias, we actually did run a campaign op a week Four or two advised, ago. I'm going to be pushing through you at the moment. Watch three crossfire. Rounds on the same map, right loosely connected with each other. Um, so instead of doing two rounds, one and then flip sides and then run the same op again, it was uh, operations A, B, and C. Uh, and you'd stay on the same on side, those, uh, but it was a different op every time, and, and then, you wouldn't uh, flip flop. So everyone side, really enjoyed it. Uh, we're definitely gonna try to develop more of those there. in the future. Like. All right, dude. We got a shit ton of targets here. They set to watch the east. They're, they're set up to watch the east. I see a few infantry like, moving. Uh, sounds south like these guys on the rocks have been spotted out by Shadowed Ritual. Looking at the bridge, eastern end out here. there in that. There he is. All right, yeah, dude. They're starting to shiver towards you. Outstanding in his field. Shattered yeah, Ritual. In, uh, Great guy. So we're gonna try and get these guys. All right, you ready? Get it, get it, because he was in a field and he was standing Two, in it. Eight, three. <laughs> that, that's where you're gonna Sorry, aim. Not yet. I'll tell you when you see. Oh, right, these guys right. need to fight more. He's running. Yeah, yeah. Two, eight, three, go. Two, eight, three, shoot. He's right down those, those rocks. We'll get right behind you just to guide you. Russians on. have we one group defending. down to the I'm south, covering their back. Six. That's where they're about to head. They Thinking that maybe uh, it's just yeah. going to be ring around the rosy. Giant game of duck duck goose here. The good news is, unless they, they can't get you off that rock up there too. So as long as you keep people alive on there, they can just kind of. Uh, yeah, yeah, Matthias, go sign high. up. Take one of the SOTT courses. Can you, can you see that actually? Uh, can you some, see? some of the see? training we like everyone to do before they join the ops. All right, stay here. We do have one op every month, the first here. Wednesday of every month Be ready to move that to anyone shot. can join in on. Ooh, nope, never mind. I thought that guy died down there, but just hit the deck, keep taking shots. Um, yeah, sign up, join in, take the training, and then you're free to play in all of them. Auxilio, yeah, we try to Moving limit the gate. sessions to two hours, uh, usually one hour per op. Um... Let's see in the rules. Uh, let me know when they start Normally the there's a stipulation that like once a fob goes down or a defensive perimeter is established and the offensive team has 40 minutes but we don't want to be um, seen either, do we? or so to attack. But I don't think it's actually been stipulated on this one. We might add, change that to uh, stimulate action. Uh, we're not trying to run Counter-Strike here with action, 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 but we don't want it to be a snooze fest at the same time. All it does build tension. Yeah, here's those machine guns down behind that berm. I mean, right, it's brutal. Without GLs to displace these guys, I mean, like half squad to a they squad. really can't We've get suppressed from the sides very well. Here, uh, they could throw up some sandbags here too, and then it would just be pretty much unstoppable. Copy, keep it up. You just have to win the gunfight with them down their barrels. That's right. You're gonna you're fuck gonna lay right, right here and just That's fucking lay fire at the people yeah. crossing. Yeah. And fuck their world up. Get a ton of kills. Who is this? Right. We'll count it max at the well, end of the game. Quick and look at the sort of angle you they have right now. The wrong goddamn side of the river. Yeah, if they're taking this bridge, we have like two ARs laying down. Yeah, get some sandbags. We're taking fire from 75 now. This is gonna be filled with bodies later. This bridge. As long as we don't get picked off for weird engagements, we'll be alright. I love listening into the local chat. Of course, they stop talking as soon as I say that. Contacts drop off at three's location. Looks like we're down to seven casualties on the militia side, five on the Russian side. Squads up in Golf Eight to pounce, or they're all coming at that bridge too. 
That's what I keep thinking. When yep, they're, they're all coming the at bridge, bridge too, except for the squad of. that's guarding their back. The only bridge they could take that we're unaware of is the one up at Keem. Which, uh, I mean, if they do that, it's going to take it them is possible. <laughs> another 30 minutes. Northwest. On the rocks. I'm surprised we don't see any sandbags up anywhere. I mean, I know they used all their points here for this machine gun, but every rifle I can throw down. Still seeing shot Single shot, man. Come on. One tap. You can't, you can't fire accurately with four rounds at a time at this distance. Even suppressing at that, suppressing at that distance. Just one round, one round, one round. They're smoking the bridge now, too. Sounds like one's fire team is shooting eastbound. Here we go. Here's the bridge crossing. Look at those fire. Oh, look at those bodies piling up. There's that machine gun. Max picking up a triple kill, probably. Smoke coming down. Just suppress into the smoke. And they have to cross the bridge. Can't cross the water. Max is up. He's loaded. Thanks, Wait for the smoke and fucking murder all of them. I killed a good Server player. at 404. Good shit, dude. Let's see how many Max got there. Two kills for Max. I don't think a single one made it. Shoots the ground in front of him. Are you seeing them? Are you seeing people? It's still dead. Uh, at Oh, they're still pushing this. Here they go. Too bad we don't have Max as a camera. That'd be great. Sporadic fire, guys. Let's do that. Let's start there we go. Looks like there's just four guys old. queuing up to cross the death bridge. All right, why is we are Let's see what this looks like without the outline. Copy. We're going to start our, uh, our fire now. All right, guys. We're going to start firing. They are crawling over there. Talk Looks about, like talk, talk the guns. on Don't the other the side of the map. Squad 3 might be recrossing the bridge they came across. That's when I wish I had a partner for this. Could have one guy covering the other bridge and me covering this bridge. Catch all the action for everybody. Yeah, Matthias, fish in a barrel for sure. Copy, pull back your fire team. I can see that. It's outside the bridge, on top of the rock. Best pony calling them out. I see them retreating to the fucking south. All right, they're pulling out of this bridge. Everyone's flying, flying down to the south bridge. Where they've got a fire team ready for them. Not quite as assured death in this one. Because you can suppress these rocks from uh, multiple locations. Especially with a full squad versus, what, three guys? Oh, takes a hit. Takes two hits. Bandage. It's a problem with the ARs and those tracers. Everyone knows where you are. So these guys should actually be able to cross this bridge because they can easily suppress these three guys up here. But the problem is the Russians are fractured. They've got one squad down here, one squad to the northeast. That's about a two-minute run between them. Yeah, spray and pray, right, Dyer? Got to be accurate at range. You don't need to. The first round is all you need to suppress somebody. Accuracy. That's what I always preach. No reason to dump the mag. Almost never. At range. No, this guy might. Surprised that guy's not shooting at him. Because this guy we're sitting on top of right here is silhouetted. Let's see what it looks like from the other side. But I'm betting he is uh, pretty obvious out there. 
Maybe not. I guess he's not terrible. Alright, Three's gonna set up a, a better perimeter with the rest of my forces. There in he the, is. Uh, location. Copy that. Three, I thought he was skylining, but he's actually below the skyline, so that's not a terrible position. But with the movement. Did you guys can make forget about us? We can attempt a crossing on the north bridge. Oops. I just wait for wait until one and two get over to here. Maybe we can distract some. I just don't want them counterflaking crossing the north bridge. It's open for you to get some kills if they cross the north. Yeah, wing breaker. If we tried to push at both bridges, I think they'd uh, win on the south bridge and lose on the north bridge. The north bridge is like the Russians can't cross the north bridge. That's it's a fool's errand up there. You're just gonna lose all your guys. They've got to come back around to the south. Contact tracer. We're shooting at contact to east again. Is command still up? Because that might explain why this has felt so disjointed over there. Yeah, it looks like X bit's still up. Normally he's uh he's a little bit more organized in this. It feels like. Sunny Black, why are there no snipers? So we eliminate optics for infantry on this to prolong engagements, and it also just for one life, getting that um, getting headshot from two, three hundred meters out when you have no clue where it comes from happens so often with optics in a normal squad, right? So it just it just takes away a lot of the fun when you only have one or two people that have optics. So we just took that out, just arbitrarily limited it. We're always playing with ideas of uh, a little bit asy asymmetrical warfare, maybe having one or two snipers on one side or people with optics on one side versus a larger force on the other, things like that. But uh, for the most part, we just take, take optics out, other than vehicles. Vehicles still get optics, which is very powerful. But on this map, no vehicles, pure infantry. We've got one uh, full squad. So looks like the Russians two. kept one squad to the again. north, the north bridge. We'll update you when they move again. They're peeking out on the river. I don't know what they're hoping they're to accomplish up here. Maybe they're waiting for everyone to uh, engage on the south bridge, and then these guys will try to sneak across the north yeah, bridge. That could be bridge. a huge factor they're later in the game if they ever get across. Direct southwest of three, copy. Yeah, Ryan Lorenzo, it, it's just a decision we made. We play tested it a lot with optics, without optics, and we just, everyone agreed that it, it made for better gameplay if no one has optics. I mean, teams can be balanced with optics, but just because they're balanced doesn't mean it's fun, right? If everyone has a nuclear weapon, it's fair, but that's not fun. You know, I'm taking that analogy a little bit further than uh, maybe it is, but it was it was play tested heavily and uh, agreed upon that optics are on top of the hill. They make things not as fun in one life. And anyways, yeah, this is the best one to cross anyways. Russians maneuvering around. We'll just need to get the other two squads up. Oh, there's plenty of fun on one life events, Maverick. One life maps. But uh, just wait until you're in some of these. It's not a fundamental problem with the game, Lorenzo. Uh, we just decided for our operations, for these one life events, we don't like it. In a normal game, there's nothing wrong with optics. They're great. Oh, looks like squad one uh, lost tap. Copy all yeah, it's not Russians at a full. Oh, looks like Copy. Yeah, that was they're my guy. squeezing around behind the militia one main here with two squads. You hold position, do not die. Make sure they do not cross west on over the bridge. Understood. The more they take on crossing the south, the more people are going to hunker down there. Yep, I agree, Wingbreaker. But uh, the Russians are just kind of uh, 
rock in a hard place right now, and they voluntarily put themselves here, which is interesting. If you're joining us in the middle of this, this is Operation Mistwalker, and it's basically an attack defend on this point in the middle that the militia are now starting at. The militia start in their main base, and they have to go across the bridges, either up north, just south of Radio Tower, or the main bridge down here. And they went north, crossed the bridge, and then uh, took the peninsula. The Russians moved in, crossed the southern bridges with their entire force, at this time, enemy should still be and now they're stuck the over there. The river. And, and that's where we're at. Looks like X-Bits pinned here. All right, so Bandaging, that's into command. Here, they're going to go ahead and uh, set up. Go ahead and do some base of fire, and we'll let three cross. Pope Leo squad ops confirmed nukes incoming. Yeah, maybe not nukes. PR did have JDAMs. Those were fun. Pretty much just just uh, wait, letting them waste their ammo at this point. This is round one, Wingbreaker. One of two, correct. And at this point, I would say I would be very surprised if the Russians can make salvage the situation and come up with uh, solid control of that bunker down there. Yeah, air support is confirmed in the form of helicopters. Uh, I doubt there'll be fixed wing assets. I don't think the maps are big enough for that, unless they turn it more battlefieldy and have the jets go super slow. But um, we're waiting until one and two get here. This is more of a realistic game than that. It's not quite Arma, but it strives to get a nice balance between the two. If you don't have squad, I highly recommend picking it up. Yep, yep. All right. If you like slower paced games, yeah, it's perfectly between Arma and Battlefield. Great gunplay, satisfying. It's still in beta. They're adding features all the time. You see any huge maps I mean, around to the map, east side? If you take this map and try to run across this thing, it would probably take 20, 30 minutes on foot. So huge maps, mixed assets. Right now it's uh, light vehicles. We got Humvees and trucks and then some medium vehicles in the form of uh, strikers and uh, other infantry fighting vehicles. I have these. Uh, they're hinting at adding in tanks shortly. They keep showing us treads, but uh, we'll see how that changes. Yeah, lightning. Once you die, you get to watch. So you see on my map, all these red dots that are flying around here are, are people that have died and are now flying around an admin cam just checking out the action. All the red uh, arrows are live players on the enemy team. Blues are, of course, on the team that I'm observing from. Besides kind of the ridges. So they can do everything that I'm doing here when they're flying around. They can check things out, turn these stencils on and off, make it real easy to see. But then we shoot them, and then they run away. Alright. Purely because of time's sake, we're going to be uh, expecting Bushwookian. Expect the unexpected. They may be over on our end. 360 security as much as possible. I don't see anyone crossing the southern bridges, too. Just make sure you have eyes on that northern. Yeah, wing. They are the uh, custom inventory and customizing weapons. That is something they've talked about. Hopefully, that'll be in. It'd be really cool to be able to customize your M4 a little bit. Hey, stupid question, but it's in a squad far north. To the, you know, and then to that northern bridge. Stay firm. That's, that's what I was saying. Just for time's sake, it could. Sounds be, like the uh, Russians uh, might be pushing across this north bridge. They've only got one guy covering it. It might actually work out this time. Is he still covering it? Oh, no, but they're not they're lined up on the bridge. It just looked like they were from the map. I thought those guys were lined up on that bridge from the map. Train bridge, they're maybe posturing here. Prepare they're gathering. You don't need to cover those north rocks. Just watch the fortification the dish go. Yeah, Matthias, this is going a little bit slow. I'm really yeah, curious what Xbit was uh, planning here. I mean, it was a sneaky maneuver, but it sounds like they did their sneaky maneuver... Yeah, looks like and the militia did their the sneaky maneuver and pretty much exactly was the worst case scenario for the Russians. There's one or two guys up there. We'll see if we can... Oh, here we go. Smoke coming out. 
Let's see how this push goes. They don't have a ton of resistance on the other side, so my guess is they should be able to get across this with light to medium casualties if they do a good push. They've got this team up here suppressing across, and then the crossing team should be able to cross pretty well. Xbit throwing some lead down range. Yeah, do you want me to throw smoke out too? Sunny with some questions. What happened to the breacher? Helicopters and why can't you swim? Why do you get hurt from jumping off a of low stuff in real life? Wouldn't hurt you at all. All right, Sunny, I've got a challenge for you, and don't actually do this because you'll probably break your ankles. Put on a 60-pound backpack and go jump off a four-foot ledge. See what that does to your ankles. Right? Um, uh, you could do it. Oh, experts crossing here. Heck, this is command going first across the bridge. Looks like he's been hit. And he goes down. He almost makes it. Oh, I'm poor guy. Don't stop. This is classic error right here. Stopping in the middle of the bridge. You just got to get across. You got to get everyone across. You can't stop. Doesn't matter if you're taking fire. One gets across. In deflated underneath these guys. Shaved alpaca. Bandaging and then hopefully moving up to flank. If this fire team or command goes down, we're done. And the same thing with swimming on that. Try putting on a 60 pound pack and then swimming, right? That's gonna be rough. Helicopters, yes, confirmed. What was the other part of that? Um, sorry, I forgot what the rest of the question was. Here we go, these guys are flanking this hill. They only lost, they lost one on the crossing command. So rough, but went pretty well. I don't know why command went literally the first one across the bridge. That's, I mean, lead from the front, but uh, oof. There we go. He's coming up behind. These guys should have, I mean, they, they've got to know people got to cross, right? No one's looking. No one's covering their flank. There we go. There we go. Yep, get him, get him. Line it up. Oh, come on, you gotta take your time. Okay, it worked out. Wow, saw him through the bush. Wounded him. Oof. So it's worth two up here versus uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Around. Good grenades going out. Lots of grenades going out. So once again, if fire team and myself go down one, you are in close defense of the Burns. fortification. Making a making a wide flank over here. Got a good angle. Come on, I could peel off a fire team and uh, help you. Burns moving into position here. Be in a good pause to uh, flank around if they do assault from this. Oh, area. I was looking at the wrong side. My bad. Burns is militia. Hey, firm. I'm holding up here. I'm taking this down with the team. Burns is uh between a rock and a drop here. Some Russians on the other side. He's in kind of a stealthy position. They might Russia. miss him One, if they just go around real just... quick. He stays stays yeah, still up uh, here. Parses himself in. They might run right by him, and he can catch a whole squad in their back. <laughs> north bridge. Still nothing going on in the north bridge. That squad is uh, still hunkered down, waiting to move across it. The Russians should have pushed the Copy rest of their team across this bridge once that first team got across. Beachhead. They got a beachhead. Copy that. Throwing smoke down. Nice smoke. Perfect toss. Right at the end of the bridge. Burns making himself known. Alright, I got one by enemy. I'm currently bandaging. Three He's got support fire. Top hydrant. Did he take one there? Looks like, yeah, someone got these guys. RIP, Burns. Hold to the last. It was an honor. I swear, Burns wishes he could call in close air support. He's a strafing around on the hill above him. I don't know if militia have that capabilities here, but oh, takes one on the shoulder. Copy that. I still got three by enemies located my southwest. They may be flanking around. So this is command right here. They're within 20 meters of me. I'm no more bandaged. 
Burns is out of band-aids, he says. How do you know your health, Wingbreaker? You don't really. You your screen memory. starts out at full color, full brightness, and as you get more and more hurt, uh, it gets darker and darker. So you can tell on Burns' screen uh, oh, that it's pretty I dark. I can't get over you know when you're bleeding because it kind of pulses red and you hear your heartbeat. But there's no health gauge. There's no numbers. Copy that. I should have contacts close to the west side. Two say again last. Oh, looks like they're trying to cross the north bridge. Get up there. This, this killing field. They still got the same machine guns here. Oh, but they actually took one out. So these guys, these guys need to separate a little bit so they can't get suppressed by the same burst. They're doing a good job covering. Looks like they dropped one on the river there. This guy's in the middle of the bridge throwing smoke. That's uh, bold. Oh, smoke. Oh, smoke. Come on, shoot him. He's, he's on the bridge, dude. I don't even see that. He's running back across the bridge. That's interesting. <laughs> he's still on the south end of the two bridges. Burns is uh, looks like doing some solo work over there. Yeah, Man, get dirty. Down. About two or three enemies still on my paws. Kills one. Still direct east. Oof. That, Down this bridge, they get hit from a crossfire. I can advise you when they're pushing over the top. Please do. Two I left on that side, and they are wounded. <laughs> yeah, you're in a, there's a tree blocking half, though, so just be careful on that, that left top of the ridge. Hey, firm. Looks like, like the north bridge is pretty well shut down. Oh, yeah, they're there. He's right, He's right on the top of my hill, directly above me. Burns is still alive over here. Uh, about to peek. Good luck. I'm yeah. about to peek. Oh, gets tagged. And in right, dramatic Burns, fashion yeah, rolls yeah, down yeah. the hill. Yeah. That's some Lone Survivor shit right there. Um, <laughs> Cartwheels. Fulcrum, you're out of the minute. You're in command Rip now. command. For the standard, uh... This is Fulcrum, I'm extremely low on ammo. Should one pull back to a defensive position? All right. So the Russians finally made it back on their side of the river. And apparently they they didn't clear out all the contacts around here. For three didn't clear out all the contacts, so we got to worry about that. So I need uh, everybody up here. So Ace Hardcastle, uh, no one else. You can't see the enemy's position on the map. I can see this because I'm in admin command, admin view. And they open their map. All they can see is their friendlies. So yeah, that's not that's not as game breaking as it looks. Copy that. Uh, two. Have they tried to cross that bridge again? Yes, Steven got a comparison here. Now. Show you both oh, maps. Yeah. yeah. So that's what it looks like on Shadow's, Shadow's map when you can see in game so the plane versus admin command. Admin's, admin's, command. Admin's, admin's a little bit hectic right now because of all these red observer dots you see flying around. Yeah. All right, we got a full squad across here, a squad and a half. Making another Shouldn't flank, it looks like, to the far west. That's all of them, though. Dwindling. All right, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, plus two in the north. Okay, my guys have eyes fifteen on total. On that hill, uh, just above the lower bridge. Shadow goes down. They appear to be moving a little west, though. They could be flanking. Copy that. One, if you want a good position for you to fall back to, uh, we, we need to keep two's rear... You're just joining us again. So squad Ops. The, uh, Find out more at squadops.gg, our website. We're a one-life event. Cautious. This is round one of two for the morning event. Mistwalker. Copy that. I think we'll hold position if we go down... Deep into the heart of it. Dispatch a fire team. Main objective on right. that peninsula here. Over here, Russians, Russians started at their base, Militia start over here, can only cross bridges. 
kind of an artificial barrier we put into this to promote some uh, bottlenecks. And uh, that's it. Just attack defend. Whoever gets there first is defending. Other team's attacking. Someone's turned into an interesting game of Ring Around the Rosie. Russians are just like going back to their base. Not that they can get anything there. There's no resupplying, no reinforcements. They're just like, screw it. These guys. These guys got us. Tactical retreat. Yeah, it looks like Gonzo's got a good hold. As long as, yeah, it's got, it's got a fine position. Perfect. All right, I'm scanning that, that hilltop up there for contacts one. Oh, did anyone? Oh, it looks like the North Bridge got wiped. We missed those last two guys going down. But hopefully, it was in a blaze of glory. Eighteen casualties on the Russian side, eleven for the militia. Any standout snipers over here? Nope, it's pretty well spread around. Niels looks like he's picked up four. That North Bridge choke point. Burns command picks up three in his little last stand area. On the Russians. Russians are just onesie twosies all over the place. Pure paradise with a double. Try to flank you. Dr. Unique, shaved alpaca. Copy that. Russians making another nine year flank. They just can't seem to penetrate anywhere. Good question, Mark. Excuse me, Matt's Carb. He's asking about commander view in the game, night vision, and thermals. They haven't really spoken about what they're going to do with command mode or the position there, what assets they get, or whether it's just a pure communication. I hope it's a little bit more than that, but uh, we'll see where that leads. What do you got, one? Uh, if one wants to pull back to that firm location, we want to tighten up our defense. All right. As long as we maintain a current platoon line, uh, well, preventing them from pushing the sides of the peninsula, we should be fine. These guys are a little bit thin over here on right, the militia so side. Gonna, uh, spread out. Gonna spread gonna out well. They're going to know back. where they're coming from. Because sure that... they can just okay. defend more or less. They can just watch the road here. Middle of the screen. Have their guys on the south side of the road in the light cover there. And they got to cross the road in open fields. And then they can collapse back if they need to. Yeah, Wingbreaker, they are bringing in tanks. All right, Russians moving around. Looks like they're going to try to hit it from the northwest, which is, well, really the only direction they can hit it from. They knew they were compromised down in the southwest, so moving around. This is a very long round. This is this. There's only 40 minutes left on the clock. One more, one and a half hours. We got 40 minutes left. Ace Hardcastle idea of an ideal round of squad would be tactical moves in a forest. We have an op that is basically exactly like that. It's called Coyote Ridge. Uh, a dense forest on what map is that? Um, I'm blanking on the name right now, but it is a dense forest. Attack and defend. One team is allowed to set up a hard point. They get one or two lodgy dumps, I think, and then it's just tree to tree fighting. No indirect fire, a couple heavy machine guns, but it is intense. Uh, a lot of fun. I love every round on that that I've played. Right, guys, be aware I have contact southeast of me, really far beyond the river. That's uh, close to you. Uh, their side of the river. Yeah, their side of the river, just uh, moving uh, south. 
Kennett just called out hey, Contact Sam, Southwest. We no longer have eyes on that road directly, uh, but there's no one there. You, so you might want to have a guy looking that way. Going to predator mode contact here, contact up high. Probably another five minutes before they re-engage at this rate. Thank you, Pope Leo. Yeah, it's Iho Rivka. That's the map that Coyote Ridge is on. And a lot of the times we'll have our ops centered around areas that aren't necessarily featured in vanilla style. So you might actually have to learn some different parts of the map and it's a little bit more immersive rather than just knowing, that, oh, hey, I know this, this, the top window of this building has great sight lines on their only approach. No, you just got to figure that out on the fly. A little less, a little less metagamey sometimes. Do you see anything, Twee? We don't see anything down here, too. Copy. What's the op on Eho that militia has to defend the trench? Yeah, there is one. It's a tr oh, it's named something witty. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I can't remember what that is, uh, Pokesmont. That's what it's, it's a great op, though. And then we're going to Barbed wire? Chain link? Chain link. That's what it is. Operation chain link. I think it's like alive in that fight team. Yeah, they get to put up a bunch of sandbags and heavy emplacements, mortars, all yeah, kinds of stuff. The opposing team runs in there with uh, one or two medium IFVs. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a jolly good time. Is anyone in contact right now, or are we all just like waiting for them to show up? We got no contact here. Server, checking that north bridge. Operation you wait right now. Why, guys? Like, Hurry up and wait. No, I it's it. pretty realistic, right? Right. Cup. None of the squads are being engaged at the moment, so they must have a really low. Has it been a full hour, sneaky sniper? Yeah, this has definitely been one of the longest ones I've uh, been a I'm part okay of. With it being quiet on the front. Yeah, me too, actually. Yeah, I wonder how their ammo supplies are doing. There was a lot of uh, prolonged light contact. I'm sure some of the guys are down to their last mag or two. Adam Williams, this is uh, round one of two, so we will have a second round. And then uh, this evening, we'll have two more rounds. These guys have found a nice rock outcropping above Neva, Neva lower. The Russians' path is pretty funny. I wish we could trace that nice and easy, and show their path over time, because they've done this is one probably 500 degrees around this thing in their full path of travel. Canadian Trooper, no, there is no daylight cycle. They were talking about having True Sky in here, um, but I think it was too intensive on frames. But there were some shenanigans that went on with that, and Copy I think that. it, it like didn't make the cut. What was that one? One, we have at least a fire team element or larger moving through Neva Lower. Hey, ambush them when you think you all have a shot. Cause, uh, Copy that. This is finally yeah, Pope Leo. Really like the campaign style events, Rising Revolt. Yep, I believe that is what it was called. That was the first time we did that. It was Everyone enjoyed it. It was good. We're looking at developing more of those. Probably run that one again. Well, looking that direction anyway. Here we go. Some bullets flying again. Catching the tail end of this uh, this line. One, if you gotta fall back, definitely fall back after you did oh. that ambush. You can reform and like each nine nine four. This is gonna be almost indirect fire. Well, not indirect, but recon by fire. Copy. 
Good luck seeing through those trees. Yeah, I'm almost down to harsh language and my pistol. Oh, Breacher, that was the last part of your question. I believe they're adding in um, that Breacher class soon. I think I've seen a model of a shotgun. I think that was part of the official update. It could have been a modding. Here we go, close contact down here. Server error goes down. Blaze of glory. Someone's firing with a pistol over here. Apple Infidel, yes, bipods are definitely going to be a thing. They showed them. Oop, there goes one guy down. Two guys down. Wow, they both let out at the same time. Now they're pedaling. Uh, oh, they got shot from the side. That's what happened there. Bipods are definitely going to be a thing. Uh, going prone, resting them on surfaces. They showed that in their latest update. It's not in the game yet, but three weeks. It's the running gag on when the next update is. So we'll see. Yeah, I think the 240 was in that as well. Well, you did a good job, buddy. We got one solo Russian on a flanking mission over here. Rocky. I hope he's got Rocky music going in the background. Apple Infidel, there's no timeline on it. The joke is uh, three weeks, two weeks. Three weeks, but it's really just when it's done. Same as Half Life, you know? It's when it's done. This is one. We also have contact approaching west of us, about 100 meters. Uh, copy that one. You're not going to survive getting hit from the west. Be extremely careful. Copy that. Russians surrounding the field. It's lower Neva. Couple in the buildings, couple on the outskirts. Militia just waiting for them. They know they're on defense. This guy down here is uh, probably in the best position to cause havoc. We just got a double kill that we just saw. Who is this? Quack. Stand still. Quack. Putting the herd down. Picks up another. With his M16. He's got one more potential target out there. This is one. We're in danger of being encircled. One's calling out they're in danger of being encircled here. Try and break out possible. They're actually in a great spot. Good cover. You can retreat if they need to. Yeah, Apple taking what a full mag of tracers. I have a feeling that will be something you we're can choose once they get the core inventory in, which they've said is V10. Who knows if it will actually be in at that point, but I feel like that's something that they were talking about, like customization of magazines. Oop, that guy bled out. Need a nice unnatural angle. Yeah, and, and scavenging mags from uh, friends. I think they've spoken about that. They're hesitant to go into taking full kits and weapons, but I Good think player. they confirmed that. Uh, uh, use your nades if you haven't, dude. Taking mags yeah, is going to be good. And don't don't push the compound by yourself because there could be at least two or three there. So just Copy stay. Off. Actually, we're yellow. Here we go. Who is this? Quack moving in. Moving in close. I think he knows roughly where they are. This is one, red, red and yellow. Copy. Correct. At this point, Canadian, you cannot scavenge anything off of your buddies. No bandages, no ammo, nothing. Black is no ammo, red is like red is In the normal game, you can resupply its supply crates. 
Um, but it's a pretty rare to have supply crates in an op. Actually, I don't think there's any for us on these events. Quack behind enemy lines. A couple targets for him potentially. I, I can hear you. Are you okay? He just needs for them to start opening up, and then he can move in behind them. I'll smoke. Yeah, Canadian Trooper, the button for that, for me at least, is Z. You hit the deck. Here we go. You see him? Nope, you missed him moving into that house. Whack, clearing out their back line, real cautious. I think one is in a good position right now. Cap. Yeah, I agree, Shaved. Shaved Alpaca says, be fair, six mags is plenty if you don't dump unnecessarily. I feel like a lot of people get really excited when they see enemies and just mag dump. When really, you just need a couple rounds to get the job done. Either kill them, Wound them or suppress them. It does not take 30 rounds. You can do it with five. Correct, Siva, Servad. Uh, Karma is sick today. We have movement. Streaming for him. Normally we'll go in paired, but uh, just me for now. Copy that. Yeah, sorry, VN. I had uh, zoomed out a little bit. We can get fisheye. We zoom way out, see everything. Let's zoom in, get it more 90 degrees. Here we go. Quack. Does he see him? Does he see him? One, how far north road are these people? Not that far. They they're maybe 20, 30 meters, but we have eyes on at least three left of us. Yeah, when you're in admin mode, you can change okay. your FOV. around on this full fire team. He's got no one behind him. He's going to wipe the rest of the Russians. I think it's just the three left here. Yeah, they are right west north of the road, pushing down the road right now. He hears them. He knows they're right down there. He's doing it smart, though. He's looking for their back line. You hit the guys in the back first, and then you move up. Lining up that one tap. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice job. Shoot. Disengage. Disappear. Ghost. Great backline tactics. Yeah, one, I have visual on one of them. Still two left. You missed those. They were, man, they're so hidden in there. This guy's behind a rock. He took cover in a ditch right under the road. Oh, and here's the last man, Page I believe. Nine, seven, eight, micro, micro one. Last guy alive on the Russian team. Automatic. Good job surviving. Quack back there doing one last flank. One is your medic AA. Automatic running in. He's like, finally, I don't have command telling me to be cautious. I'm just going to fucking sprint. Straight at the entire team, which you can see laid out. <laughs> Oop, he's got some targets highlighting up there. Snaps one over their heads. Man, Rambo mode. He's getting in there, getting dirty. Oh, now is probably the end here. He's coming up on this position. Oop, look at that guy. Come on, you can see each other. How does that... I mean, Monday morning quarterback here for sure, because I know exactly where everybody is, but I feel like the guy on the ridge. There we go. Nice shooting. Nice shooting. Takes one out. It's all about that movement. Moving back in. Oh, oh, oh. You can't, you can't cover, buddy.
Oof, this is gonna be rough. He might get one, but he's gonna get mowed down by those two guys on the ridge. <laughs> oh, there he goes. There he goes. The valiant effort. All right. Well, that was the longest round one in history with an epic game of Duck Duck Goose or Ring Around the Rosie, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're gonna take a break. A couple minutes, five minutes. Uh, run you our quick commercials here. Not really commercials. They're training videos uh, that we do. Pretty sweet. And then we'll be back for round two.